Hey, LaShonda. Hey, girl. <laughs> you look about as tired as I feel. I'm not even, I don't look tired. Well, just You know what happens when a man says you look tired? Hmm. You're like, come here. This is my pomegranate. Somebody posted on Twitter, what's the worst thing you can say to a woman? Compared Mine. to a shark. Mine Sorry. was, um, we'll talk <laughs> about your pomegranate, <laughs> but mine was, um, hey, why don't you smile? I hate that. God, Ooh, I hate honey, that. you can get a mouthful. I hate that. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm LaShonda. And I'm Angela. And we are a black woman and a white woman walk into a bar. Except that I'm hydrating today. Well, I am having, I'm having, um, I am having a beverage and, and I'm, and I thought you'd be interested in this because I love my, I love my cider. This one's really good. Um, Austin East Cider's original dry cider. It's, it's very dry. It's not sweet. But my, my trick is, and I got this, I got this thanks to you, LaShonda, is I add pomegranate juice to it. Pomegranate juice. And it, I don't know what about it. It's just, but it's really good. It makes it really tasty. Yeah. It's in some pomegranate juice acts. I mean, the, the palm, I don't know. I think that they're using only like certain sweeter, more tannic um, pomegranates mm -hmm. that are in California for that one. Mm -hmm. um, because it's, one of the things that I've noticed is that depending on where it comes from, mm -hmm. they taste a little bit different. Like the ones that I have now are from Israel and they almost have like a wine quality to them mm -hmm. when you taste them. Well, this is not, it's not sweet. It's not very sweet. I mean, it's not not sweet. It's not like it's, you know, tart. It's not it's tart, not, right. It's not super sweet, which I is good because can you hear my glass tinkling? <laughs> I like the tinkling sounds of glasses. Yeah, I'm going to get me a straw. Bear with me. Bam, bam. Do you, do you all see this? She just walked away to get a straw. Mm. I don't know, but I think that if we knew we were having a beverage, we'd already have a straw. Exhibit hey, number one. Well, this is this is why it's great to do Zoom because you can just you're in your house. I can just go get stuff as Listen, needed. Listen, I was I was being shady while you were away. I was like, do y'all see this? No. She just walked away to get a straw. You should be more prepared, boo. I know. I I'm not. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> well, I guess we should do our toast, but before before I go into my. But let me just let's just say this real quick. I have been ever since the election. I because you know Lashonda. To those of you who are watching, Lashonda knows my issues with sleep. I have a lot of sleep issues. Mm -hmm. I have been sleeping ever since the election like crazy. Like I I go to bed and. I wake up about eight, eight ish in the morning and I think, oh, good, good time. I'll get up, start my day. And then the next thing I know, it's like noon. Like I just go back to sleep. And I've been, I'm not kidding, every day since the election, that's, I've been, I feel like I've been on like a two year sleep deficit. And yeah. I just, you know, but yeah. I sleep a lot more on the weekends because I use it as, as well, because of COVID, I use it as mostly binge time. And I'm also making lots of, of things for bath and body products mm -hmm. that I love to make for people. So I'm still know. waiting for mine. Girl, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. We have to, we have to have a whole conversation about your skin type and what you use and what you don't use. And if you're a dry person or not, because most of I, because I have dry skin, I started doing this because my skin is dry. It just tends towards dry. Even, I mean, even in the, I just don't believe in ash, honey. Everything that I make is for banishment of the ash. No ash. No ash. That should be your. <laughs> no ash. No ash zone, child. No. 
we don't do ash. Um, so yeah, so that's that's why I started making things. And so if you have sort of, um, I guess, not dry body skin, then I, I mean, I'd use the products anyway because they, you know, especially with the, sh the scrubs, they're a great exfoliant. Mm -hmm. They're also, the oil helps to seal the moisture into your skin because people typically use scrubs in the shower or when they're washing their hands, you know, so. Awesome sauce. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so um, you're hydrating. I'm having my cider and we're going to toast tonight two icons that we lost recently, yeah. which is very sad, um, but we wish them well. Um, they did, they did a good, they, they did a lot, they did a lot of things um, that will have lasting impact. So you want to start, Lashonda? I'm going to go with, my toast is to Cicely Tyson who is, was an African-American actress and is an African-American icon and has spoken up for black women being as they are. There are several videos circulating of a conversation with her about why she was wearing her hair as it was at one point. She's like, you know, you should be, you should love yourself. You should love the things that are about you that are natural, you know, um, so. Yeah, she's well loved in my community. I remember people talking about her when I was a kid growing up. I've watched films that she was in. One of my favorites was How to Get Away with Murder, which isn't a film, but is a television series where she played, um, she was uh, Viola Davis's um, mother in that show. And she was just like, she, she knows us enough to know how mothers talk to their kids. And also I'm sure she's a mom, right? She's a mother. Um, she has children, I think. Wait, did I read that she doesn't have children? I don't remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. She knows, she gets it. She knows how to, you know, do the proverbial rub her hands together with some lotion on it and wipe it on your face and do all of this around here and make sure that there's no ash. like. There's a whole thing. So anyway, so yeah, so I'm toasting with a nice fizzy beverage to uh, Miss Cicely, Miss Cicely Tyson. And for those of you who know me, you know that I I don't call myself a stand-up comic. I just say I, I, I do some stand-up comedy. Um, I love doing it. If, if you would have told me a few years ago that I would be doing stand-up comedy, I would have told you you're insane because the prospect is utterly terrifying. I think other than jumping out of an airplane, doing stand-up is probably the scariest thing that a person can do. Um, but um, I started doing it a few years ago um, and, and there's nothing better than standing up in front of a room full of people and getting them to laugh. So, um, so my toast is um, to um, Floris Leachman, who um, was not a stand-up comic, but, but one of my favorite things that she's ever done is, um, is um, she was at the Bob Saget Comedy Central roast and she was just, she she brought the house down she was hysterical check out check it out it's um it's very it's very very um lewd and um you know and not for children it's one of the things that i love about her though is she's a i like i like broads you know she's a, she's a broad she was a true broad she was a, a body broad um so she you probably People probably know her best from being in the Mary Tyler Moore show, which was one of my favorite shows when I was a kid. Um, um, she was the neighbor and she was hysterical. I just learned when I read <clears throat> when I when I read up on her that she was she played for half a season, she played um, the mother in Lassie <laughs> before June Lockhart took took over the role, which I didn't know. And she won a um, 
an Oscar as Best Supporting Actress in the Last Picture Show. She's a phenomenal actress. And um, she said, you know, I, I, I think what, I think what I like about her is what is what you said you like one of the things you like about Miss Tyson is that it's that she just talked she just she was just who she was she didn't you know try to pretend to be anything else yeah so here is to Horace Leachman cheers and speaking of comedy LaShonda and I Child. Um, we're, we were on a, uh, a Zoom event last night. You want to talk about it? It was pretty awesome. It was a Zoom event for Black women in comedy. Um, it's called the Black Women in Comedy Festival. BWIC, B-W-I-C. Listen to me, those, those women had me dying. At one point I was like, I haven't laughed this hard in a long, long time. I was dying. And it was so, I mean, I don't, you know, I went because I was like, this sounds like something that I would like, but I'm never sure, you know, about anything these days on Zoom because sometimes things are really great and some things are just okay. You know, it doesn't always read well in this new format that we have to do things. This show was ridiculous. I died. And you're in your A thousand your deaths. Friend. We're gonna, I will, we'll post the link underneath yeah. here. Mm. But gosh, those, the women that were on that show were so funny. My friend Holly Harper um, was one of the hosts of the show. Holly also made this gorgeous scarf. You see this? You see all this color? Oh, yeah, yeah, I like it. I want one. Listen, <laughs> you you've got you you can get one. You can get well, one. Shonda knows me in scarves. We'll talk about that. She sometime. sells them for thirty dollars. This is an infinity scarf. No. So about Angela and scarves. What you really need to know is that she makes Stevie Nicks look like she doesn't <laughs> have enough scarves. I I'm love just, scarves because, and then we'll get back to the, to the show, but yeah. So, but I just love scarves. So Shawna used to make fun yeah. of me because I have so many scarves. Do you need any scarves? <laughs> but scarves are just because I'm not an accessory person. I'm too lazy to accessorize, but a scarf is so easy. You just throw on a scarf. You're not wrong. You're not wrong about oh. that. I've, I have a couple of Dupatas from a store called Mata in New York city that I absolutely adore. Um, and they're lovely scarf. They they wear as a scarf sort of, but you can also like use them as a beach cover up if you really wanted to, because they're very large, but they're also very, um, they're, well, the colors that I have are pretty, you know, once you pull the scarf all the way out, they're pretty like, you can see right through them, which is fine because beach, People are looking at your butt, buttocks and ting a tings. Um, but yes, so the Black Women in Comedy Festival Zoom show last night was hilarious. Yes, I don't know if I will laugh that hard ever again. <laughs> I was dead. I was on mute most of the time and I was glad because nobody really needs to hear me cackling that hard. Like, no. I woke Gustavo up. That's how funny it was. Well, that's good. You want to keep him awake so he doesn't wake you up in the middle of the night. Child, I'm, you don't even know. Right now, I'm looking over. I'm like, where is he? Is he in the bed? Because you know he won't go to sleep. Like, I'll be trying to go to bed, and he'll be like, where's the red dot? I want to play with the red dot. Where's the red dot? He'll look, and he'll yell for it. He'll go to the closet door. He thinks it generates from the closet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that. Oh. Yeah. Gustavo, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! So, um, so what show is this, Lashonda? What number are we up to? I think we're at, are we this at 12? Is, is this 12? This is 12. Well, there was, I think that we did, there was a, 
the YouTube social I mean, the media Facebook. live show that we did that was kind of really challenged. Um, so are we counting that one? We posted yeah, it, didn't we? We posted it, yeah. We posted okay, so it. we're up to 12 then. Can't believe it. Awkwardly, can I just say something? Yeah, that's what we do. When I was in college, I remember smelling other people smoke marijuana. Mm. Is it just me or is that stuff very different these days? Because I don't know, it's either the person above me or the person below me, but I can smell their weed smoke coming through the vent that's nearest my front door. And this is a newer building. Like I live in a, a building that was literally built in I think 2017 or 2018. Why does it smell like a big pregnant skunk just farted in my apartment? I don't, you know, I have a hard, I have a hard time with the weed that they make now. It's too strong. I think it's manufactured or something because that stink, that smell. Oh my God. Hold on for a second. I literally need to light a candle because I can't take that mess. Okay, do you see that? How she just gets up and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. This is why I have candles now, now though. Because I can't I can't take it. Like it's so bad. I'm rarely home without having a candle lit because it just helps deal with that. Like, I don't know who's smoking that stuff, but I'm like, it's, it smells terrible. It smells terrible. It smells so bad. You know, I was just to totally change the subject, but I was, but I'm just thinking about how, you know, cause we talk about before we do the show, we talk about doing a theme and um, we haven't, we, we very intentionally said, we don't want to discuss overtly discuss politics like if like our politics informs who we are of course right and who we are is you know a lot to do with our politics so we can't we didn't weren't we weren't intending to you know never talk about anything that was important to us but we just didn't want to focus on on politics but yet i'm thinking about how all of our shows have had some theme that about you know social justice or you know there's something that was that was you know per political in a way right and 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 i'm just thinking about how and the because i'm thinking about you know my you know how i've been sleeping more and and i've been and i've mentioned to you and to a couple other my friends who before the election we would talk we would talk all the time because mainly for support i think and how i've been talking to to you and my other friends like so much less and I'm feeling like this, you know, not having a specific topic for, for the show. And I just, it's weird. It's like, I feel like we've been so um, forced, like, because we've been under a leadership that was based in chaos and keeping us constantly off balance, um, that there was just always this feeling of like anxiety and it's not like the world is suddenly everything's okay. We still have big issues to deal with, but I don't feel this pressing urgency or anxiety that I did. And it's just weird. I, I almost like, it's almost like I'm readjusting to how to be normal. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just a very odd, it's very odd. I don't know. Am I making any sense? You are making sense. You're making perfect sense. Um, I, I do think though that for some parts of the population, it's not a full, like it's better, but it's not perfect. Oh no, it's far Like far. we're going to have to pull him way left. We're going to have to do a whole lot of work. Yeah. And I'm more and more convinced that the work that we need to do, although we do need to focus on 
the um, bigger picture and what's happening at a federal level, but I'm feeling more and more that, um, so you have Gustavo, I've got crazy kid time. Can you hear my neighbors? I don't know, it's weird. It's like, girl, are they tap dancing? I don't know what they do. It's like, it's quiet, quiet, quiet. And then all of a sudden you just hear people running back and forth. And my apartment's not that big. I don't understand. It's yeah. Crazy kid times at a crazy cat time. But anyway, I'm more and more feeling like we need to be focused on the hyper local. Like we need to be focused on what's happening. That works in a state like New York. That That's definitely true. I think that there are some things that we need to focus on here in Atlanta too, but that's something that I'm still learning about mm -hmm. because I'm a new person here. So instead of, I will get involved the ways that I can get involved mm -hmm. um, and feel very comfortable about like help, assisting with the free 99 fridges when I have extra, you know, which isn't all the time because as you know, I have an elderly cat who has vet bills. So, um, you know, but that's the kind doing of, but that's exactly, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like you're doing that through that and yeah. you find out what's needed in your neighborhood and you're, yeah. and you're stepping up to it. And I think that's more and more like I'm feeling that that's what we have to do. You guys I mean, that's have that because people provide, there's, there's apparently a few community pantries, but you guys need one of these restaurants that have made so much money in that neighborhood to host a refrigerator, to provide fresh fruit and vegetables to folks who right now might might not might not have to pay rent, but don't exactly have enough money. Okay, your video is freezing up. Uh, be poverty because you know you can't get. Okay, now you're freezing up. And yeah, what's going on here? To do with. I don't know. What's okay, going I don't on. know either. You've got one. You've got one bar. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Are I'm you... still here. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you, and I can hear you better. I think maybe it's better now. Okay, now you've got two bars. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll... Now you've got three bars. That's so weird. I don't know. That that's always going to happen. But that, yeah. what I was saying was that there is a certain certain amount of obesity that is poverty based, and that means that you know folks live in food deserts, don't have enough fruits and vegetables, um, you know, haven't grown a taste for those things. So then you know, put some apples and some oranges in there, get some broccoli. Like Whole Foods sells a, a bag of broccoli for like two ninety nine, that is already chopped. You know what I would like to do? I think, how would you think of this for our next show? Because um, this is something I've been thinking about a lot. I, why don't we have people, I know we have a hard time getting people to do this, but we'll all ride herd on them. Why don't we have people um, either come on and talk about or share with us and we'll share what they're doing in their neighborhoods. Because I think this is really important. And um and I'm trying to figure out, like, I really want to be more intentional about, about my activism because I feel like I've been so obsessed over the past four years just dealing with the, the, all the horrible stuff because of our, for, the former occupant of the White House. And right. now I want to focus, I want to be much more intentional, intentional about my activism. And so I'm, I'm going to be setting up a YouTube channel where I talk about this stuff and then I want to interview people that are doing that are activists and talk to them about what they're doing and um, and then also I'd like to engage with with local politicians and I think that it would be really helpful um, and I think it'd be really interesting to hear what people are doing on a local level like like this the, the I think those the food pantries the fresh food food pantries that that are happening in land is just awesome. And I think we, it would be great to be able to find out more ideas, you know, things like that, that people are. Yeah, no, they, there's, there's this, they do the same thing. There's a, there's a free fridge system or at least one in Detroit that I know about. I mean, 
I appreciate it because I, I went through the Great Recession. And you and I went through it together, darling. Right. Yeah, so, it was not fun. It was not fun. It was not fun at all. Um, so with that, you know, yeah, I want us to, I want to do what I can um, in the ways that I can do it, that are helpful, like directly like not contributing to an organization with a million dollar budget and overhead and a COO or a CEO that makes $230,000 a year. Not that. You Those know, people are getting money from other folks with more money. I want you know, to do, yeah. be able to provide directly as much as I can. I, I worked in, in um, nonprofits for 25 years that before I had to file for disability, that was my career. I was a CFO for nonprofits and I managed some really big nonprofits. And I'll tell you what I think is the biggest problem with nonprofits. It's a bunch of people from another group who are trying to give, trying to provide services to another group that they know nothing about. And they're giving the, they're giving the services um, without really talking to the people in that community, you mm -hmm. know, about, you know, it's not like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's from the bottom down. It's not, I mean, from the top down, it's not from the bottom up. It's not people in the local communities that are saying, this is what we need in our communities. It's people from a different perspective and a different um, point of view who are saying, this is what you need and we're going to give it to you. you yeah. Know, it's just, it's, you know, it's, yeah. I think the whole, I think a lot of that system is just flawed. So I think this movement towards the local is really is where we need to go. I don't know what exactly that's gonna look like. I think it's a work in progress, but I think it's the right direction, so. Yeah, maybe those larger organizations should be paying the local people that know what, what's right. required and what's needed to right. go get yeah. that stuff done and give them a decent annual salary to do those things, okay? And then help actually support the project on an ongoing basis. Well, you I mean, I think, I yeah, things like micro loans to small Without, groups. not even micro loans, charity. That's what well, these people yeah, not are loan, claiming yeah. to do. Micro grants. Don't lend me any money that I have to pay you back. No, no you're meant, trying yeah. to help buy the fridge. I meant grants. Don't make the fridges. Yeah. But is that, the my, fridge. yeah, my, my point being, instead of like, instead of a, a big organization giving money you know, like coming up with they, what they think is needed and then giving money to that, like instead of, you know, having like these huge budgets for, for um, a, a particular, um, a particular quote unquote need that they, that they envision the need, you know, instead of doing it that way, like ask people from the local community, what do you need? And then giving them, giving them smaller grants as opposed to these big tons of money that goes to you know, support a, a bureaucracy. I think that, yeah. yeah, so, but yeah, this is, a, this is all new stuff. And I think this gets back to what you were saying about kind of holding the president to the president's feet to the fire. Like we can't just sit back on our, we can't just rest on our laurels and say, okay, we got rid of the crazy, the previous crazy person, um, previous occupant of the white house. We got rid of him. So now we can relax. And, and we really didn't because the entire Republican Party seems to be leaning in that direction. Oh, they're even supporting him more. It's crazy. What the hell is this about? It's insanity. These folks, I mean, these folks invaded, they stormed our Capitol and they tried to kill people. Their intention was to murder people. This is crazy. This is like shit that happens, as we like to say, in banana republics. I mean, it's crazy. Guess what we are now. Yeah, exactly. 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 And it's, we're there. And we are just seem to be, a lot of people just seem to be okay with this. I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's, it's White yeah. supremacy is a hell of a drug. No kidding. No kidding. I think it's. Yeah, I think we just, um, it's so, when it's, when you're so 
steeped in a system, you can't even, you don't have the perspective to see where, where you are, you know? It's just so much part of who, you know, how we're, our, our whole system is, is made up. It's been founded on that since day one. And it's, yeah, it's time to take a good hard look at who we are. You know, I yeah. used, I've said this, I've said this before. I've said this to you, Shana. Like I used to say, this is not who we are until one day I said, no, this is who we are. This is who we are. This is who we've always been. Always. Always. Since it's time to just fess up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And if there's one thing that I learned as a therapist, a former therapist and a mediator, we're so afraid of the truth, you know, we're afraid of speaking the truth. But I found it interesting when I when I worked with couples, the thing that one cup, one part, one person in the couple, the big secret that, that, that did not, you know, that that person was so afraid to be spoken, to say out loud, when that mm -hmm. person said it out loud, inevi inevitably the other person said, yeah, I know. Like, you always know, we just don't want to talk about it. We're scared to talk about it, but we always, we know, you know, because, yeah. to, you know, on some level, you just don't want to, you don't want to admit to it, but, but it's just, we got to do it, man. We're going to be, I don't want to be stuck in this another 400 years. I don't, it's not right. And it's, um, yeah. Well, you know, Ghana is accepting black people left and right. They're like, come home. <laughs> I'm like, oh. no. Listen, warm climate. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon because I really love Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, I love Atlanta. Even on days like today, where we're kind of slightly dreary out dampish but not like hyper cold it was like 46 today 47 degrees i was like this doesn't suck you even asked me about the blizzard we're supposed to be having a blizzard here girl i'm so glad <laughs> i'm not there for that mess <laughs> Ooh. yeah we're supposed to be having a blizzard let me let me check the let me check the weather the latest weather I yeah heard. I, I did hear about that. That was like, oh, well, you, well, you know, if you, if you that mess. If you live in New York, you're, you know, we're all used to um, to just not believing anything they say about about big gas storms that are coming our way because they never amount to anything. You know? Yeah. And um, so they were saying we're supposed to get six to twelve inches. So I figure, okay, we'll get about four. But now the latest is that we're supposed to get up to 18 inches. So now I'm starting to feel like maybe this is something real. So yeah, yeah. get your food stuffs and stuff. I did. I made I made um I I made one soup last night and then I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make two other soups and load my freezer up. Hopefully the power yeah. won't go out. <laughs> but if it does, I'll just put them out on the fire escape. <laughs> so. Right, because it's cold enough. Yeah, it's cold enough, yeah. Girl, oof. I do not miss that mess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm just, I mean, honestly, I was out for long enough today that I feel a little chilly even now. <laughs> I'm not hearing it. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. It's just because, I, you, you know, yeah. <laughs> when you, yeah. <laughs> It's like when my when when our friend Debbie, who lives in Nola, when she complains about it being cold, I'm like, what does that mean? It's like 65. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 65 is still chilly though. Yeah, that's what she'll say. 65 like, is jacket I'm not, weather. I'm not I'm not I'm not buying it. I'm not they're but not they're buying. like literally like okay, right in now in the here. summer, like 95 with like 79% humidity, oh. like all the time. Okay, dude, right now it's 24 degrees here, so I'm not hearing it. Let me check the weather. It's 24 degrees. I really do like that scarf. That's really pretty. I love that we, we're sitting up here talking about the weather. Girl, yeah. I'm, I can't. Hold on. Where's my weather app? Oh, there it is. Sorry. 
sometimes you know you like you download or you remove apps from your phone and then you can't find the mess yeah, fine. yeah. okay it actually got warmer it's 57 okay so i'm not so it's warmer that. now than when i left earlier today okay it's what did i say oh, it's no, 24 it's 45. sorry that's wrong it's 45 degrees well it's 24 here so and this week, actually, it's going to be 39 tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere except for first thing in the morning. I have shipping to do, but I will Looking be at home. I can't tell if it's snowing because I have the light. The light is reflecting off the window, so I can't tell. Yeah. You have to make the tunnel with your face. Yeah. I don't think, no. I have to, I'd have to get right up close to the, to the window, yeah. and then you'd say, make some comment about me leaving. <laughs> Of course, that way. Of course, good. So, why wouldn't I, Angela? Come on, you know this. Yeah, you, know, you see an it. opportunity. I can't comment because I do the same thing. <laughs> exactly. You've learned at the feet of the master here. <laughs> oh my God. So, what's happening? What's what? How are we going to handle this? We're going to just keep on talking. We're going to talk more, not less. Um, reach out to your friends, people, you know, because it's, it's, it, we're all having a different experience in spite of what it seems like. It seems like things are uniformly better, but I can tell you that, you know, a lot of us are, are still watching this with a close eye because we realize that an, an entire party in our country is subscribing to full-on sedition sedition right. type thinking and white supremacy so we're watching because we don't want because we don't know we don't know what's going to happen um and while we know that someone with good sense is at the helm of the republic in the highest office you know um i feel like some of our Democratic senators are being a little bit too soft when it comes to this. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, I was just saying it worries me that they're not being as aggressive as Mitch McConnell has been um, for days. Speaking of which, did you see, I'm sorry, I was, I happened to be watching the Tiffany Cross show yesterday mm -hmm. and she said something that had me dead. I literally was deceased when I heard this. She said, move Mitch, get out the way. Okay, so for those of you who aren't aware, I love hip hop music. There was a song by Ludacris that was written about Atlanta traffic years ago, decades, called move itch, get out the way. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't saying itch, it was the other word that begins yeah, with it. B. <laughs> right. So when she said that, and I don't know if she was the first person to say that or not, mm. but I hollered. My neighbors probably heard me. Like, I was like, what? <laughs> I can't stop thinking about it now. I'm just like, every time I see his little face, I'm like, move, Mitch, okay. get out the way, get out the way. Well, yeah. this is this is what I find so frightening. It's like, I, I mean, I still can't believe that we elected the former resident of the White House to, as president. And now I'm like, I, and people just seem to be okay with it. And now I'm I'm like, I can't believe we have, um, is that Usabo? I can't believe that we have um, a, an entire party who is still in his thrall and is still doing his bid bidding supposedly and protecting him who will not go up again. I mean, you know, you and I have talked about this. If those, if those um, assholes who stormed the Capitol would have been a different skin color, you think they'd still be talking today? Oh, they would still be tagging yeah. bodies. What are you talking exactly, about? Exactly, exactly. And, and that people seem to be okay with this, this or, or not, and maybe not they're not okay with it, but they're not as like appalled I mean, this is insane. This is insanity. We, we live in an insane country right now. And I feel like that's just, I, I've been doing this for four years and I'm getting tired of it, but 
I have to do it again. This is crazy, people. We need to wake up to this. This is not, this is not acceptable behavior. Um, it's uh -uh. just, and we have to, we've got to just, we can't let this go. And we can't no. sit back and say, okay, well, we have a new president, so we can, we're okay. So, but I wanted to, I wanted to comment because I know you and I have talked about this. Jen, I never know how you pronounce her name, the, the White House press secretary. Saki, Papa Saki. I'm sure. Saki, yeah, Sorry. I think it's Saki. No, she was. I love her, and she was on. Um, wait, wait, don't tell me. This weekend. Stop. And, yeah, and the funniest thing was, they were talking. They were asking her questions like, "What do you do when you like, when you, <clears throat> when you're really frustrated with with you know with questions or stuff, stuff that you don't want to answer." and um, stupid questions or whatever. She said, well, she said, I did, I did read a tip. She said, I'm not gonna say whether I did it or not, I, whether I did or not, but, but she said, um, I read this tip that, that, that um, you just like give somebody the middle finger, but you do it behind the desk, you know? <laughs> just, and then she said, um, what was it? She was saying that um, one of her aunt's stock answers is, I have nothing more for you. I have nothing more to offer you right now, or I have nothing more to offer you. And one of the comedians said, yeah, that's a good, that's a good comment if you're in a relationship too. <laughs> like if you want to end a relationship. <laughs> that was so funny. I have nothing more to though. offer you. <laughs> so it is though. It's like that's all we have. This is funny. We're that's done here. We, that's all I've got for you. I have nothing more to offer. You can keep talking, but it won't matter. <laughs> that's basically what it is. It's like, well, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can keep talking, but I'm done. I have nothing more to offer. So. Yeah. You know. so. And who wants to be a jerk in that setting? I mean, she's being, she's like, even if there was someone reasonable in that position before, she'd still be better than them. Right. She's just good. She's very, yeah. she's very, very good. Cause she's professional she knows her stuff but she's also just like calm you know she doesn't she's very calm because she knows what she's doing there 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 will be no crying at that podium honey i just remember with spicer sean spicer screaming at people this is how many there were more people present at his inaugur you know inauguration than in all of history I'm like okay so if you just keep yelling it at us we're we're supposed to believe it because you're yelling louder it's crazy but it's it was it was literally like as if the entire third grade class of the united states was working there yeah. <laughs> and it's true because i said it's true right exactly. la, 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 la. Mm -hmm. i was like no 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 this is not how this is supposed to go but that's how it went right. And I'm going to say it because it's still true. 50% plus. Of, I'm not laughing at you. I'm, la I'm laughing at Gustavo. <laughs> His timing is perfect. Because it's true, you say, because it's true. And then you pause. And then I heard Gustavo meowing. It's just perfect. Now I'm like, what, what's <laughs> happening over there, though? Should we should we should we invite Gustavo into this conversation? Sure. Come on, let's let's we're gonna we're gonna go have a chat with Gustavo now. Okay, so you will see that at my front door there's a bag. Sorry. Okay. There's a bag that belongs to him, and there's a box of litter of a brand that I don't really use anymore. And then there's this dude. Hi, Gustavo. What's going on, bud? He's like, you've been on the, you've been on that damn machine too long. It's time to pay attention to me. What I know cat. I speak cat. What do you want? Oh, oh. okay. He wants he some want love. Attention. He wants, he wants attention. He's like, okay, now go lay on the couch and be my pillow. <laughs> well, you have I think and you have food and you have fresh water. There are no problems in your life. Yeah, there is a problem. You're not, mom's not paying attention to him, 100%. It's yeah. like, and, and oh, and here he comes. This will be interesting because I'm sitting in my, in the chair that I sit in for work normally. 
I don't well, know where it's um, It's actually about time for us to wrap up because we're, believe it or not, we're oh. at 40 minutes. Oh, even, wow. when we don't, okay. even when we don't have anything to talk about, you and I always find things to talk about. We will always find stuff to talk <laughs> about. Oh, but please, please, please go back and take a look at the at the um, Tiffany Cross show from yesterday mm -hmm. on MSNBC. Okay. Oh my God! So Anthony Scaramucci was on there, and okay. she was like, <laughs> at one point, she basically said, "Well." You know, when you, this, but this is my show. And when you have your own show, you can keep on talking while we're trying to move to a different topic, something of that sort. Mm -hmm. And the look on that man's face. I didn't like it. You can, you can see the muscles in his jaw. Like, <laughs> there was a vein. I was like, and she batted her eyelashes and moved on. I love that girl. If you don't know about her, you need to be watching Tiffany Cross on MSNBC because she's not playing with, she's not here for any of this mess. I like Joy She's not Reed. playing with any of y'all. She doesn't care which side of the aisle you're on. Yeah. She's not playing with y'all. Yeah. I love her. I like Rachel I and Joy Reid. Those are my favorites. I like Rachel Ray. I like Joy Reid, and I, I, I absolutely adore Tiffany Cross because she's like, she she knows her stuff, and she's not here for your shenanigans. You will not run over that woman. Okay, so for next um, next week, we're going to we're going to, and if we if I'm telling you guys now, so you might as well come up with your stuff because if you don't we're gonna i'm gonna be coming after you so so make it let's make it easier on all of us and just okay. come up with your stuff your ideas for for things that you see a need for and things that you know ideas that you have and things that you've done like or things that you know about so what are some local um ideas for local local um programs or project whatever we want to call it so things that that we can do to support each other in our neighborhoods Right. Things that you are doing or things that you feel like need to be done based on right. your own needs, because people who people need stuff mm -hmm. and there's no shame in that. I've been there. And then ways that you've and also ways that you have been active, you know, that you that you've become an act, an activist or an advocate in your community and your community can be your neighborhood, but it could also be like the disabled community or, or whatever. Yeah. Um, however you want to define your community and we're going to, we're going to ask you and we're going to, you know, badger you. So like I said, just come up with it now. We don't have to bug you so much and we'll have our next episode will be about that topic. And in the meantime, I'm going to try to get more sleep because I apparently need it. And, and yeah. And and yeah. do some comedy. Say do some funny. Oh, you know, I didn't. I don't know if I told you this, Lashonda. I started this. I started a group for women, for women that, who are interested in doing comedy, stand up comedy. So, nice. Because I needed another so this project. Is like right? Stand up newbies. Yeah. See, it doesn't have to be. It's like it doesn't have to be for people who want to be professional stand up comedians, but who are interested in being funnier or can or like giving you know helping that 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 side of them you know giving it more more air, air to breathe you know that kind of thing so yeah so it's like a start the like like how to tell a story right so if you're interested in that and you're a female i had one male friend of mine say can i can i join and i said no did i not say for women and he said well can i just watch them and i said that's even worse that's creepy no you can't <laughs> like men just don't get it right it's like can i watch no it's for women can i watch <laughs> yeah. no no come on come on he wouldn't say that if you were like i'm starting a group for women to just sit around and talk about their menses yeah yeah exactly he would be like I'm sorry. Maybe he would, I don't know. I don't want to know. I was just going to say maybe he would, but I wouldn't want to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know that about him. There are things so, we don't want to know about people. Yeah. TMI. Yeah. Definitely. 
All right, my friend. Um, you enjoy your week. I will. And I love you and appreciate you. I and love and appreciate you. Yeah. Are well, you on this side or that side? I am, um, I am, as I'm staring at my laptop, I am on the right side. So you're on my left side. So I'm on your left side, according to what I'm seeing, but it may be okay. switched. So if okay. you, if you turn to your, turn to your left. Okay. Yeah. Now we're looking at each other. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Also. <laughs> you're a freak. I love you back. All right. All right, everybody have a good week and we'll see you. We'll see you next um, Sunday. Okay. Okay. And until then, I am Angela. And I'm LaShonda. And this is a black woman and a white woman walk into a bar. And hydrate. <laughs> and hydrate. Listen, I, I've been that girl. I'm like, I'm not drinking today. I haven't eaten enough. Whatever. I just, I'm here for the conversation. That's right. Yeah. And don't forget to smile. You're pretty when you smile. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you. Man, okay, we'll have to have an episode on that. But that's kind of implied through all of our episodes. So. <laughs> Isn't it, though? They, they always wind up coming up as an eye roll, um, yeah, as an yeah. eye roll topic. Anyway, got to go. We got to right. get out of here. Bye, girl. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, bye Gustavo. Bye, bye, gender neutral folks. Yeah. Bye. Just goodbye. Enjoy bye. your week. Love yeah. on yourself. Give yourself a hug. Give yourself and a pat on the back for freaking waking up, man. Just, and I'm going to give everybody a homework assignment. Tell one person a day that you love them. Yeah. That's major. It's important. It is. Okay. Big bye, hugs. Everybody. Big hugs. Bye. Bye.